सो हेलो गाइस मैं हूं लेयर बैक अगेन विद अनदर न्यू वीडियो एंड टुडे येट अनदर ओपन सोर्स प्रोजेक्ट एंड यू गोना बी गेट एक्साइटेड अबाउट इट बिकॉज़ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज एन ओपन सोर्स सीएमएस दैट इज ऑब्वियसली सेल्फ होस्टेड यू हैव टू सेल्फ होस्ट इट बट यू कैन इजीली सेल्फ होस्ट इट बिकॉज़ इट सपोर्ट्स वर्सल सो दोस आर द मेन फीचर्स लाइक मेन फीचर्स व्हाई आई लाइक्ड इट एंड व्हाई आई ऑप्ट फॉर इट now we going to visit the site and look into it how incredible framework framework cms it is that it can handle literally anything and i didn't even knew about it like since any time but I, when uh, now when i know about it i am thinking about that why i didn't knew about it like earlier why because it's so easy because any of the website like if you want to make a uh, one person like one uh, dealership uh, e-commerce site or maybe blog site or maybe tons of other things a cms is important for you uh, like basically for non techy people a cms is important and even you are a techy even if you are a developer but it is always not possible about us to code uh, like write down all of the code because yes dry dry like why write your code again and again right so that's another thing uh, which can be automated which can be done easily why do it again and again in the hard way so that's why we need a cms now here it is and it's incredible so let's visit the site and talk about it more so here is keystone the super power cms for developers yes this is more of developer friendly because while well, you are setting it up or building it up and like doing customizations obviously you have to know about a lots of things before doing all of those but this is like great because uh, one thing that you can notice that in the landing page uh, on its own it kind of feels like versal right but i don't know <laughs> uh if they are uh, like uh, powered by versal or not but like my powered means uh, sponsored by versal or not but it's great it's great like uh, so and they have this short uh, cli based uh, installation also like yarn create keystone app so you can run it through that also but uh let me go through some other things so they have 1 million plus in stream npm installs that is really incredible because yep that's a quite milestone but uh, let's uh, come to their main features that is first of all batteries included no limitations all all the field types are available access control now what is access control like admin permission editor permission user viewer permission all of those admin control or access controls are available here session management custom schema so they are not limiting you in terms of schema you can build your custom schema if you want then database migration typescript support i have seen their uh, apps like seen that uh, code base i and i am currently actually uh, using it for one of my project like just trying it out today so i have seen their uh, Uh, total code base and yes yeah, it's obviously typescript uh, enabled and here is the dashboard overview but before giving it to the dashboard overview let's go through some other features as well powerful filters national rational data custom code blah 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 a lots of things 100% typescript fits your git based workflow everything is cool everything is great okay and everything is really powerful and this is the sweet spot of it like deploy anywhere railway digital ocean render google google cloud like gcp versal aws azure heroku anything anything is possible and built for modern ecosystem like use it with stealth vue js react noxt i forgot what is this elevently uh 11t not 11k 11t get uh, uh like what is this gatsby next js anything anything can be possible and they have few other examples as well like of uh, example of a app 
website e-commerce and multi-channel and right now i am ra uh, running the blog uh, like uh, in this website section they actually have the template of blog and i am right now right uh, running the blog template here and we will go to it we will go to it so no matter and there are three types of differences as you can see like experiences developer editor organizers for organization and you have like what makes keystone cms uh design for system generation like they have this support like uh, uh what is this called wsgi support uh wsga editor i forgot about it what the heck whatever so yep they have this editor support wait what it called i just forget i don't know but if you know about it please let me know in the comments as well like what kind of editor it's called i think w s g a i yes that's what it called i think whatever we we'll, we're not going into that right now but in the document section uh, they have uh, really created some great sections there is their intro uh, intro videos key, uh, keynotes and all of these things are there but it's okay okay and uh, the same thing that you get for developers for editors for organization and in the four editors actually you are getting they have made this also a, another page and a great looking page i i don't know how they have done it but this website is like when you visit a website when you visit a, a, like page of a open source website or anything in general like how did you get impressed like if their website is well mannered like well distributed well designed and they have everything connected to like links and everything is properly working then when you feel like yep this is a website this is a thing that i can trust and they are literally generating my trust on it because why not right so here are <clears throat> here are the things for uh editor section actually so here you can see all of those things yep whatever uh, we are not going to got, get into the devil uh, the editor things but here i wanna uh, like bring your eye to one section of it like here is a article how to embed keystone plus sql light in a next js app and they have tell us here that is uh, learn how to run keystone in the same folder as your front end code to commit everything to get first thing you will end up with a queryable graphql endpoint running live on versal for free did you get excited about that i don't know but i get too much excited about it to be honest so yep this is a new thing to me i will go through their documentation go through a uh, lots of tutorials that they if if i can find it out i can see one of the video introduction are there like but i have to see where are the other introductions but yup this is a well documented place and they have slack channel so whenever you want you can get into it no problem so that's another great thing here is the slack community whatever now let me show you the example as well because yeah why not so here is the dashboard and i have generated their uh, uh, seed datas and uh, here are some datas that they have provided and here are some things so and as you can see all of those things are already like uh, ready to go like uh, those all of those options and all and right now i can click on any of the post and just delete the data doesn't even matter right if i want to click it and delete it yes it's working it's totally working see and i haven't done anything i have just done some few yarn installs that's it okay and filter is also com like completely working as you can see so yep great see all of the filters are greatly working and if i wanna click on this but i don't know why they haven't made this interface better like if they have a wsgi editor like proper editor why they haven't included that in here i don't know about it but this is a basic overview i think that's why and here you can see the api explorer and this runs live 
ग्राफ क्यूएल क्वेरी सेक्शन इन योर ब्राउजर बूम हाउ क्रेजी इट कैन बी राइट really great really really great and here is a github repository and here is a king's uh, keystone documentation so really great piece of framework i would say it say it is a framework this is it is a whole cms framework this is not just a single thing it is a whole cms framework this is your whole back end like whole back end on wheels that's really great really really great right like i have no words to explain how great they are whatever i liked it too much i know you gonna like it too so obviously visit this site and let me know if you like them or not i know you gonna like them if you have something to do with uh, this kind of thing obviously you gonna like them rather than that uh, that's it if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to my channel and if you know about some of the great open source projects or cool cool things about like this please let me know about all of them in the comment section below so i can feature them in my future videos as well that would be helpful for you you know like if you if you share one thing and i i can make a video about it lots of people will get to know about it right why i am saying a lots of people <laughs> my in general view <laughs> views are 10 persons so ha yeah, maybe a lot of people one day because this video going to stay forever i hope so whatever so bye for now